In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a mass hall diagram. Now, a mass hall diagram is a graphical representation of the amount of earthwork involved along a highway project. Now, it typically shows accumulated volume at any point along the highway center line or the highway alignment. So we're going to take a look at how we can generate a mass hall diagram along the London Road project here. So I'm going to go over to my model analysis and reporting and my civil analysis tools. I'm going to select the mass hall diagram. You're going to see the dialog appear. We have a few different methods that we can use to create the mass hall diagram. So if we review the method here, we can do this by an interval. We can do it by a plan name boundary or a cross section name boundary. For our case, we're just going to select interval and we're going to do this every 100 feet along the alignment. So I'm going to select interval. And I'm going to go through the prompts here. So I'm going to locate my alignment. So we're going to select the London Road alignment. So I'm going to select that in the plan view. And then for my start station, I'm just going to come down here, and lock into the start at 50 plus 00. zero. And then for my stop station, I'm going to key in 91 plus 00, zero to lock into the end station. And our interval, once again, is going to be 100 feet. So we want to key in 100. And then for our offsets, we want to go negative 100 feet to the left. So we're going to go negative 100. And then for our right offset, we're going to just key in a positive 100. So that locks in to the right offset at 100 feet. Our vertical exaggeration, we're going to adjust this to 0 0.05. And then for our annotation group, we're going to go and select the annotation group from the uh, browser here. So I'm going to just press the down arrow on my keyboard. Alt and the down arrow will get us into the options here. And we'll select the mass hall diagram. And what this is going to do is it's just going to control the grid spacing and the annotation and the display of the mass hall diagram. So I'm just going to left click through the prompt to select that and then we'll just use a name called London Road Mass Hall for the drawing model it's going to be created. So what's going to happen is it's going to go through, analyze those numbers that we've input in all the fields and it's actually going to create a whole separate drawing model of just the mass hall diagram. So I'm going to left click through the prompt here it's going to go through and it's going to process the intervals and the data that we entered into the dialog and it's going to create a graphical representation of the mass hall with a grid and all the appropriate annotation that we need based on the annotation group that we selected. Okay, so once it's complete, you'll see the report will open and you can see the mass hall numbers. So you can see the station and the mass ordinate for the uh, intervals along the project. And if we close this, you can take a look at the mass hall diagram. Now I need to adjust my annotation scale here because it looks like it's a little small. So if we zoom in here, you can see it's very small. So let me adjust my annotation scale so we can better see this. Okay, so it's once we have that set, you can come in here and you can kind of review the mass hall diagram. You can see the stations and the mass ordinate numbers on the, on the axes there. So that's how you can very quickly generate a mass hall diagram from your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.